Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can set up Eclipse IDE on Windows 10 for Java development. So that's been said, let's get started. In order to set up Eclipse IDE for Java development, we have to install Java JDK on Windows 10. So first of all, let us download and install Java JDK on Windows 10. For that, open your favorite browser and search for Java JDK and open the link from oracle.com. Don't worry about the download link. You will get the download link in the description box. Just open this link. So this is the Java SE download page. Here we have all the Java SE version. Java SE 16, Java SE 15, Java SE 11 LTS. Similarly, we get Java SE 8. We are going to download and set up Java SE 16. So to download Java SE 16, simply click on Download JDK under Java SE Deployment Kit. Here we have Java SE Deployment Kit 16 download page. Here we have some important Oracle JDK license update. If you want, you can read this. And here we have Java SE Deployment Kit 16 download links. So from here, you have to select your operating system. So we are going to install it for Windows operating system. So here we have Windows x64 installer file, which is around 150 MB. And here we have the download link. Simply click on JDK 16 Windows x64 bin.exe. Here simply accept the license agreement from Oracle Java SE and simply click on this download option. Here you can see it is downloading. So it will take some time depending upon your internet speed. Wait until the download complete. Let me tell you that if your download doesn't start automatically, then you have to create an Oracle account. So I had already made a video on how you can create an Oracle account. So you will get the video link in the I button or you will get the video link in the description box. Our download has been completed. Now just go ahead and click on this arrow icon, then click on open. Let me minimize the browser. So here we have the setup window. Here simply click on next. And this is the location where your Java JDK 16 is going to install. So if you have a good reason to change this location, you can change by clicking on this change icon. And from the drop down menu, you can select your location where you want to save. For now, I'm just going to keep it default, then click on next. Our installation process has been successfully completed. Now let us close this window. Let me tell that by just downloading and installing Java JDK 16 on Windows 10, Java file will not work. In order to run your Java program or Java files, you have to set up environment variable for Java JDK 16. For that, just open control panel and here click on system and security and go to systems. So this is your about section of your computer. If you are updated to the newer version of Windows operating system, then you will get this type of page here. Look for advanced system setting. So let me minimize this window. So this is the system property window under advanced tab. You will find an option called environment variable. Simply click on environment variable. Here you will find two types of environment variables. One is user variables and another one is system variables. Under system variables, look for a variable called path. Simply select that path, then click on edit. So here we have to paste the location of Java JDK installation folder. For that, simply open your C drive, then go to programs file. Here you will find a folder name called Java. Just open this Java folder. And inside this Java folder, you will find JDK 16 folder. Just open this folder and look for a folder name called bin, B-I-N. So this is the folder, simply click on this folder and copy this path. This folder contains an important file that is called Java C. So here we have Java C application. Java C is a compiler which will compile your Java program. So we need to set this location to our environment variable. So let me close this window here click on new and here just paste the path. Then click on OK and here also OK and here click on OK. So we had successfully set up Java JDK 16 on Windows 10. Let us check whether Java SE 16 is working or not. For that, simply search for comment prompt 
and run it as administrator. So here we have comment prom. Here is simply write few command that is java space hyphen version. Here you will find all the information about your java jdk 16. Java version that is 16, Java SE runtime environment build number, Java hotspot 64 bit server VM build number. Now to check whether Java C compiler is working or not, for that simply write a command called Java C. I had already told you that Java C is a compiler which will compile Java code. Hit enter. If you find bunch of statement that means Java and Java C compiler is successfully set up on our Windows 10 computer. Now you can run any Java files or programs on your Windows 10 computer. After that, follow this step. Open your favorite browser and search for Eclipse IDE and open the link from eclipse.org. Don't worry about the download link, you will get download link in the description box. So this is the official website from where you can download Eclipse IDE for Java development. For that, hey, click on download button. And here you will find the latest version of Eclipse IDE that is 2021.03. Here simply click on this download button. This is the download page. Here simply click on this download button. So here you can see it is downloading. It is around 102 MB. So let me complete the download process. And after that, I will show you how you can set up Eclipse IDE for Java development. Our download has been completed. Now just click on this arrow icon and click on open. So let me minimize the browser. Here we have Eclipse installer. So Eclipse IDE is available for Java development, C, C++ development, PHP development. So we are going to set up Eclipse IDE for Java developers. So for that, we have to select Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Here we have the JDK folder location and here we have the installation folder where Eclipse IDE for Java developer is going to install. So if you want to create a desktop shortcut or if you want to create a start menu entry, then you can check this box. And after that, simply click on install. Here we have the software license agreement. Simply read this agreement, then click on accept now. So here you can see it is installing. So it will take some time to install. So wait until your installation process completes. Installation process has been completed. Now let us launch Eclipse IDE. For that, simply click on this launch button. So this is our workspace location. So all our project and Java file will be saved in this location. If you want to change this location, you can change by clicking on this browse button. For now, I'm just going to keep it default. And after that, simply click on launch. Here we have the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. So let me maximize the window. So this is the welcome page. Welcome to Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Here you have IDE configuration setting option, how to create your first Hello World application, create a project, check out project from Git, import existing project, or you can have overview what's new in this Eclipse IDE, tutorials and some samples. And you can also check what's new in this version. So for now, I'm just going to close this welcome screen. And here you have the donation page. So if you want to donate to Eclipse Foundation, you can donate to Eclipse Foundation. For now, we are just going to close this option. Let me give you an overview of Eclipse IDE. So here we have the package explorer where we can manage all our packages and Java files. Here we have file option, edit option, source option and other options. And here we have some important toolbar and here we have the outline so it will give you an outline of your project here we have the problem tab this will detect problems in your java code here we have java doc file so if you want to know about a specific method or specific variables you can just click there and you can check java doc and here we have some declaration let me show you how you can create your first java project using eclipse id if you have existing Java project, you can import your Java project, but we don't have, so we will create a new Java project. For that, click on file, then new, and here you will find option called Java project. Simply click on Java project. So here we have to name our Java project. Let me name it as test. So this is the default workspace location where our test project is going to be saved. 
and here we have our existing java se and jdk so just keep everything default then click on next this is our project hierarchy so this is our java test project and inside this test project folder we have another source folder in this source folder all our source code will be saved so simply click on finish here we have to create module info.java file so if you want to create this module you can simply create by giving a name or if you don't want to create a module info.java file you can simply click on don't create for now let me create module info.java file for that we have to name our module file say for example test module then click on create here we have the module info.java file if the text is not visible or if the text is too small you can increase the font size for that simply click on windows then click on preferences here search for font here you will find color and font option simply click on color and fonts and here click on basics and search for text font double click on it and here simply select your font size say for example 18 then click on ok then click on apply then click on apply and close here we can see this way we can increase our font size now let me show you how you can create your first hello world java project using eclipse ide for that right click on this source folder click on new then click on package and here we have to name our package say for example demo then click on finish now we have to create a java class file for that right click on this demo package then click on new and here simply click on class here we have to name our java class file say for example test class the name of your java class must start with a capital letter or uppercase letter here simply select your modifier which is public and from here select a method called public static void string argument then click on finish so this way you can create your first java project let me explain you this test is our java project file name and here we have a source folder inside this source folder we have a demo package so here we have package demo and inside this demo package we have another file that is test class dot java file this is our class file here you can see public class test class so this is our file name that's why here we have test class dot java always remember your java class name is your file name and here we have a public static void main function so inside this function we have to do all our coding let us do a simple programming let us print hello world using java here simply write system dot out dot print ln and put parenthesis between this parenthesis put double code and after completing every statement simply put semicolon inside this code we have to write our statement say for example hello world now to print this statement you have to save this file for that simply click on file then click on save now to run this simply click on this run option and here you will find run or you can simply use ctrl plus f11 so here you can see on our console here we have hello world similarly you can print other statement say for example welcome to the coder world youtube channel now again save your file then click on run and here we have the run option here on our console here we have our project output that is hello world this is our first statement then our second statement is welcome to the coder world youtube channel so this way you can download and install eclipse ide for java development on windows 10 so that's it for this video hope this video was helpful to you if you find this video helpful don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this bye for now see you next video